Dear friends, this is Prithviraj from Bangalore connecting with you once again through this short message on love of God. Love is an attribute of God revealed to us. Someone defined love as the high esteem God has for his human children and the high regard which they should have for him and for other people. God's love is not in conflict with his holiness, righteousness, justice or even his wrath. All of God's attributes are in perfect harmony. Everything God does is loving, just as everything he does is just and right. Love originates in God. God is love. He is the source of love. Love of God reveals the friendly nature that the Creator extends to his creatures. Love is an emotion and God being love expresses the emotional attachment God has upon humanity. Love of God is revealed in various ways since creation, but understanding his love is little difficult. That's why Paul prays for growing believers in Ephesus to be rooted and established in love, and they may have power to understand how wide and long, high and deep is the love of Christ. Bible is the book of love. It records the God's unconditional love for us. God displayed his love by sending his son for us. Jesus displayed his love by laying down his life for us. Jesus demonstrated what love is, how powerful love can be, how should we love God and one another? God's love is not like the love expressed by many in our world today, a love of convenience and ego. The world kind of love says, I will love you as long as you add value to my life and please me. God does not force love on anyone. Those who come to him do so in response to his love. Love for God and love for other things cannot coexist. God's demand is that we love God with the full personality. He commands us to love him with all our intellectual, emotions, will and senses. The way we seek, obey and please God would define how good we love God. From what Jesus said to Peter, in his post-resurrection appearance, we learn that God expects us to love him more than all persons and things in our life. Whoever does not love does not know God because God is love. Whoever claims to love God yet hates his brother or sister is a liar. When we have fellowship with loving God, the love would flow through us. Loving God would mean being open and not pretending, being and doing good, keeping others first, helping others in need with what we have, being patient by enduring without allowing one's anger to lash out in retaliation, being kind by stepping forward to solve a problem or to share a burden. Love rejects jealousy, bragging, arrogance, selfishness, anger, resentment, and unrighteousness. It always protects trust and hopes. May God enable us to love Him and to love others. Thank you for listening. God bless you.